Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where we are continuing our Sparta campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum. Yes, we are back again, and last time we fought the Carthaginians for the first time, which was pretty nice. We did a pretty good job there. Fought the Romans, lost against the damn Suebi, uh, but we do have Cleonimos on his way back up there right now. We also are pretty much nearly ready to bring a brand new army into the fold, led by Ekamon or Ekamon. Wait, we're very lively. Movement points. How many do you have? Two morale. That's friendly territory. And it can't be you then. It must be you. Minus three management. That's not great. Uh, two morale. No, that's friendly territory again. Considerate. Brave. Okay, there we are. Two morale. Hmm. And that's it. Yeah, I think we'll go with uh, Prinataras of Megalopolis. Quite a cool name. We'll get him ready to go with a brand new army as well. Um, but a quick announcement, guys. With the announcement that the new update, version 5 of R2, RTR Imperium Serectum coming out, uh, well, 0.5.0, this is 0.4.2 currently, uh, with a brand new map, New units, new unit rosters, all that sort of thing. We will be starting that as soon as it comes out. And we will be ending this campaign as soon as it comes out. Now, we are on episode 30 right now, which is about the length I like to keep my uh, Let's Plays. But I'm thinking, um, I know it's into, the se into September, that the new release is at the end of September. So I'm thinking we can get at least 10 more episodes in before the end so we'll try aim for 40 episodes and wherever we are at that point we will have to end it there but as long as i've destroyed rome i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be pretty happy with this campaign i think we've done a decent job you know expanded sparta through all of greece up into thracian territory all the way to crimea and uh, up into Germania, as well as taking over Rome. If we can destroy Rome, not necessarily destroy them. If they're left with like two islands over here, I would not be bothered one bit. But if we can destroy them, I'll be very happy. That would be sort of a, a natural endpoint anyway for this campaign. And we will be playing Seleucids in version 5, which will just be honestly quite crazy. So stick around for that and subscribe if you want to see that. Anyway, guys, without further ado, we are here. So I've noticed if we assault Capua, big boy army will come in. Big boy army over here. Gaius, Porcinius, Licinius, Licinus. But if we do a night battle, he doesn't come in. So, I'm tempted to auto-resolve again, but we saw how bad the auto-resolve did us last time. Also, what uh, what siege equipment do we have? Let's check. Got four ladders and a sap point. Okay, that's fine. I think we, uh, yeah. Let's fight it on the battle map, guys, and, and I'll try and speed it up as quick as we can. So, we're going to do this, and then we're going to do the Carthaginian battle as well. So, that'll be a big battle ready to go. Anyway, the Siege of Capua, guys. I'll see you on the battle map. Here we are, guys. So, let's uh, try and get this over with as quick as we can. I'm sorry it's a uh, dark and a night battle, but it's what we have to do. So... Okay, go there. You guys here. I'm hoping he's not on the walls. If he's on the walls, it'll be even easier. Protus, you sorry, you I'm on is a is a beast of a man with his gold, uh, gold experience, 56 defense, 26 melee attack. Pretty pretty strong there. What a boy, what a boy indeed. And we might use him around this corner. Where are you, Romans? Where be you? Ah, they're in the uh, town square. I'm thinking about just using you, Imon. If we can. You go there. If we can just use you, Imon, to beat the Hastati, I think we will. You, Imon, plus a Phalangite, and I think he'll, uh, he'll win the day. So let's get him off there. Let's bring one that's less experienced. You have no experience, which is... Unfortunate for us. Let's get there. You guys get round. 
You guys get through if you can. You guys just dip through there, my boys. Dip through. Come on, then. Get through. Oh, it would be nice if we could shoot at him from up here with the uh, ranged bonus. So how are we going to get to the town square? Best way is around this way. So you guys need to come all the way around to there. And you, I'm on, and these boys... Let's go. Speed it up as quick as we can. Come on, boyos. They should win. Uimon's an absolute beast of a boy. His stats are so much better than the Hastati. They have decent attack, and they are armor-piercing. That's the one problem, but... Uimon's got 39, def 39 defense skill. Are you joking me? <laughs> what a boy. What a boy. Oh my god, how... Oh, I thought I took you off phalanx. Oh, it was the other guy. It was this guy, wasn't it? Ah, god damn it. Well, I guess we're not taking the other guy then. Also, these guys don't have that much armor upgrades and stuff, and I don't know why I didn't do that. That's interesting. So hopefully we can bait them out. If we can, that would be excellent. If not, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, we want to just speed this up as quick as possible. I don't want to waste your guys' time or mine. But I'm glad we can take this without having to fight that goddamn huge army. Looks like we are going to have to kill them. Kill them all. So we'll use you, I'm on to, uh, to flank. Quick, before you get shredded by the uh, peeler. We'll get one ra ra round off. Phalanx now. You I'm on my boy. Let's get around. Okay, we should hold them off there quite nicely. Now in the back. Yeah, you I'm on should shred these boys. Oh yes, there he goes. Come on, the Spartans. Yeah, getting rid of them quite quickly. Squashed between a rock and a hard place. Fantastic. He's hardly losing any men. Same with this. We're losing a few with this, mainly on that right flank. But predominantly not losing any men in this battle. Pretty nice. Oh, shaken. We've got to kill them all because they're on the town square. I'm not too bothered by that. Come on, boys. Oh, no, 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 no. I should not have done that. Halt. Get in your phalanx again. Come this way. Fighting. But you, I'm on. will do it anyway. There we are. Imagine if that was our general. I would have been absolutely fuming. Killed 74, surprisingly. Some of them the archers. Phalangites took 30. Spartan general 15. Maybe I should have just fought him with the general. I think Uimon would have been okay. But I, don't, I want to make sure Uimon didn't die. Anyway, on to the campaign map where Capua is now ours, boys. Here we are, guys. Capua is now ours. As the map turns to night time. Fantastic. Um, and I think we will enslave. Best option for us now. Come on, diplomat, get out. Get out. Oh, they got pushed back by that. Interesting. It's quite good for us. So, let's enslave Capua. It's a large city. Uh, get rid of this, of course. No blacksmith, but what have they gone for temple wise? Oh, they've gone for Minerva here as well. Ah, well. Hmm. Um. For now, let's us go for. Let's straight go for the conquered land occupation. See whether we can get it straight away. These cryptia, cryptia, where are you? Yeah, you're stuck there, aren't you? Need some cryptia in Capua so we can go straight to Pistum. I wonder whether they could reach. Yeah, they could. Let's go straight to Pystum. Let's go straight for that. Uh, Cryptia in there. Or whatever he wants to do. He can come and siege us down, but we're going to take Pystum, aren't we? Fantastic. He's locked in movement anyway. Good. Right. Protus. Let's carry on our rampage against Carthage. 
So Al Shat, Al Shat is in the city. So this is a battle for Regium, which would be perfect. Al Shat's got his general, got his Cretan archers. This army, Libyan light infantry, we know are trash. Kytrati, Greek cavalry, they're actually really decent. He's got a couple of mi missile cavalry again, so cavalry's going to have to be strong here. Wish we had our cavalry general, honestly. He's got. He might have cavalry advantage here. Anyway, um, we'll fight it, and we should. We should win. I mean, ideally, we should win. We've got to recognize that the Iberian heavy cavalry is the general on that first army, so we'll try and take that out as quick as possible. Anyway, guys, I will see you once again on the battle map. Here we are. Oh. Not the most ideal battle map to fight these guys on, I'm not going to lie. Pretty sure they'll be at the top of the hill. I mean, if they're not, that's kind of dumb on their part. So what we'll do, we'll do the same again. Oh, good experience in this army. Really good indeed. Balangites on either flanks. So, yeah, cool. I'm thinking I keep the cavalry together here. And use the infantry and the archers to chase away any other cavalry that might be a problem. Um, for now... Looks like they're coming forward. Looks like they want to they wanna tango. Yeah, what is that? It's Kytrati cavalry. Uh, you guys don't run. Just walk. Like the phalangites... Same with you, uh, Protus. Do not run, my friend. Do not run. We are at the bottom of a hill. That's never ideal, especially for jav troops that fire javis. Ah, it's going to be a bloody battle then. Going to be a bloody old battle. Yeah, kill that goddamn cavalry. His missile cav. Yeah, keep firing away, boys. Use our archers as much as we can. Come forward. Maybe you can fire from there. Yep. One of you can. Good. Cretan archers. They've got the skirmishers. Right then. So it's time to go. Push the hilltop. Let's go. Go, push, push, push. Well, you guys stop. Okay, good. Everything's working out okay so far. Protoss bring you forward. Archers will also bring you forward. Ah, uh, god damn it. Missed that. Missed that. Misclicked on that. Okay, that's their... Uh... Oh, wait, that's Alshat who's come. It's good for us. Let's go forward. Who are you guys? We need to kill you. We need to kill you. There we are. Kill them. You boyos. Before we get Javi to death, let's come forward. What are you? Libyan... Light infantry, I believe. You boys come forward. Let's go. You boys the same. You boys, now we're out of the fight. Let's go. Let's get over there. It's hard to maneuver these boyos, isn't it? Always hard. Get there. Fight these boys. Get your phalanx down. Oh, goddamn cavalry. What have I done here? Let's get the Iberian heavy cavalry if we can. That's where we want to go. Kill him. Then the rest of the army will fall quite easily. Turn it. There we are. Good. Which one is that, though? Is that Al Shat or the other one? Al Shat. <laughs> what a name. 
Poor Al. Why did you shout, Al? Al shout. <laughs> what a boy. What a name. Get here, boys. Yeah, keep moving. Protus, let's go. Got any problems around this side? Fight those. Oh, God damn it. What's happening to the cav? No, oh, we're getting absolutely shredded. Let's get away. Get up there. Don't want these guys all chasing us. We've got these two guys over here. Let's keep coming. Our mercenary hoplite is there. Bit annoying, but it'd be okay. Get them. You guys get there. Alright, cavalry now back around this way. Cavalry has taken a huge damage there, and that was my fault. I messed that up. Get this way. You guys get that way as well. Or that way. Now you guys get that way. Now halt. Big charge there from them. Right, now we'll come back and kill these guys. Let's go, let's go. Turn around, turn around. Okay. Okay, we're facing the wrong way. Let's go that way. I didn't mean to do that. Go there. Halt. You guys. Lots of micromanaging with phalanxes when they're not in a line. Of course. That is just standard. Okay, broken already. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Yeah, let's get through them. Kill these Iberian skirmishers. Broken straight away. Libyan light infantry, I'm sure we'll break them quite easily. Get over there. Guys, get up here. It's hard to see who's routing and who's not. Come on, surely we break them. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Kill them all. Libyan light infantry should break instantly again. Facing the wrong way again. God damn it. God damn it, bro. Alright, where are the archers? What we ideally need you to do is come up and uh, chase down some of these units. Who is not broken yet? These guys to start with. You two units. Let's go. Get them. Right, we need to kill as many as we can so we can take Regium. I know we've lost. A lot of them have escaped, which is unfortunate for us. But let's go. You guys there. You guys killing these guys. Okay, they've got off the battle map now. Get them as well then. You three there. Let's go after that Libyan light infantry. Apart from you guys can stay with these. So you and you. And then we can kill these guys. Right, go there. Come on, Cav, let's go. We need to we need to break a couple more people. Broke them into the back of those guys. So hard to see with these trees. <laughs> Broke them as well. So break them. Hopefully we can kill all of these these fools. Get them quickly. Broke them. All right, let's go. You chase them. You chase them, 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 them. Like one of you guys to chase these slingers. Get rid of them. All right, let's go. Kill the slingers. Let's get them. Still these guys up here. All right, speed it up. Kill them all. 
just to make sure. I mean, it says just under 15%, but the, the Regium army might still exist. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's down to three. And Alshat, I'm pretty sure... Is Alshat dead? I, I can't remember. Maybe we didn't kill Alshat. Maybe we did. I'm, I'm not sure. Phalangites doing an okay job. Did we get any experience? We did. One bit there. And some experience for the cavalry again. This is a very experienced army. It's, it's a veteran army of many wars. And uh, they are now enjoying fighting the Carthaginians. Anyway, guys, I will see you back on the old campaign map. Here we are. And no regium. Oh, God damn it. Well, we know what we can do to take it, don't we? So let's take it. They might even attack us, which would be fantastic. It's exactly what we want to see. Uh, in terms of our other armies, I'm pretty sure they're all moved. This guy's going to get on that boat to come back. Aren't you? You Melis the Handsome. What a boy. I think uh, taking over from one of our deaded people. You're retraining. You're also retraining, Midi Loss. Uh, we've got another army here. Once it's got the upgrades to armor, we'll be ready to go. We've got Cleonimos on the way up there. We've got our army of, of scariest bastards in the world up here ready to go. And we have the army at Asanka under siege. Army at Aquincum under siege. And I think that's it, isn't it? No one else is under siege. No. Cool. That's good. And, of course, we have old Seuss here, the protector of the realm, the protector of Lysimachia and Byzantium, stopping those fools from coming across the river. Uh, sorry, across the Aegean. Um, the Straits of... Is, is it the Strait of Istanbul? What's this called? This strait here. The Black Sea Straits, something like that. I don't, I don't know. I'm just making up words right now. So, yeah, Nicandros will be ready. Midios will be ready, and then we'll also have Prinitadas ready as well. Um, and is there any other armies that need retraining? I don't believe. Well, we are bringing this one back, and I want to bring Cleonimon. I want to bring Kelias back as well for retraining. Uh, for now, Protus is sitting happy with his experienced army. And Uimon, also pretty strong army still. Doesn't need retraining for a while. Well, depending on how many, how many uh, battles there are. A while might be uh, not a while, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> right then, guys, um, let's uh, end the battle here then. End the episode here. End the episode, sorry, end the turn. God oh, damn it, not the episode. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, guys, don't worry. <laughs> so, yeah, aiming for about 40 episodes. So I'm recording 30 now. I'm hoping to get another two or three recorded today. Maybe another two, probably looking at the time now. Um... So then it's just another eight to go after that uh, to record. So plenty of time to record the episodes at the minute. So I should have enough time to record up to 40. And then we'll see where we end. I mean, I hope, hoping by the time we get to 40, Rome will be dead. And, and I can't see how it wouldn't be. Niobe. Betrothed to Niobe. Tabeus. Decent, decent guy. Where is he? He's in Pella as well. So he can be another general. So, Mytonium got pretty upset. Oh my god, they got really upset now. Why is that? Is that because of the culture conversion? Uh, Greek culture is causing unrest. Ooh, uh, well. Who's in there? How much influence do you have, Dolan? You've got seven influence. I believe that's 35%, shouldn't it? Yeah, so they're happy. As soon as Dolon gets in Mytonium, they're happy. They love Dolon. He just calms everyone down. Stop rioting, guys. Stop rioting. <laughs> A new Italic Merchant. Uh, Auto-manage you, my friend. Faction announces Protus the Great. Legendary Conqueror. Influence plus 5. Command plus 5. Personal Security 10. Protus the Great. What a boy. That is that is an excellent few trait, uh, excellent trait you got there. Very good. Very good. We are the richest faction again, so we don't need to worry about money too much. Um, and then let's do all our building. First bit of campaign management of the day, guys. Bit of irrigation in Gortina. Aegeon. I mean, it really doesn't matter what we build in some of these places. Uh, I build the walls. Get a bit more law. 
roads. Let's build... Hmm. What do you want for roads? Let's build... I mean, nothing Nothing really matters here. Apart from potentially... Let's go for the um, grain import. So we do have a, a positive population growth for now. Then we can delete it later. Athens. Do we want... What do we want? Let's go for the merchants quarter at Athens. Chalkis. Let's go... Let's just get that, that single... Uh, Shrine, because there's not much else we want to build. Ludus Magna at Orchomenos. Larissa, let's go for Temple of Zeus. Ambrakia, let's go for those mines. Fantastic. Oh, wait, Ambrakia. Yeah. Uh, we need it to become a huge city, don't we? But I think, yeah, the mines will be okay. Singuidunum, let's go for whatever this is. Uh, Dionysus. I'm happy with Dionysus at Singuidunum. Don't have a blacksmith, do you? No. Okay, that's fine. Ancona got the roads. Ancona's got a bit upset. So, hmm. Let's go for... Why does Ancona have Dimos and Phobos? Why not build it in the right places, Rome? For God's sake. Tarentum. Oh, Tarentum, we got the conquered land occupation, so let's get straight down onto number four there. Malaventum, got the large stone walls. Let's go for that awesome temple of Hera. Croton, got the temple. So let's go for Dimos and Phobos. Venusia, we've got a repair because of the rioting. Oh, that is it's a lot of rioting, and I'm assuming that's because of the cultural unrest. We're not quite good enough to uh, culture convert this. So I'm thinking this Cryptia army. Oh, I wish you could just move a little bit further, my friends. Get in there. And let's drop them off at Ambrakia, ready to get retrained. Let's go there, out the way. You boys, Nicandros, we'll bring you around to the port and we'll stick the boat in there. Then you can come in here, ready for your retraining. Retrain as many as you can, uh, whilst also still recruiting. Brilliant. That's good. So that is, so that is a bit annoying. That is a bit annoying. Bit annoying. Twenty-four percent. Regium, uh, Pistum. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just I'm just spitballing here. I, I know it's taking me a while to sort myself out, but yeah, we'll take Pistum this turn. We'll also try and take Regium. In terms of the armies, do we not? Is Midios not ready to go yet? No. Well, that's unfortunate. Stop being such a fool, my friend. So let's uh, get this new army together. And we're going to use you, aren't we? And let's go for archers first. So the archers that don't need... Oh. Merge them. Ah, that's just screwed everything up. I mean, the archers, to be honest, they don't need that extra armor. They're fine. The extra weapon upgrade is, is decent, but... The extra armor is not going to come into too handy. So get these guys some nice experience on these boyos. And I would normally go for five. So we'll remove you. And then we need you and you. So how close? We're quite close still to being able to recruit another army. Which will be fantastic. So we've got to decide. Where do we want to send you, Prinitadas? I mean, we've got Cleonimos on the way up towards the Suebi. Okay, they the Suebi actually... The Suebi left, and I don't know why. Both of their sieges. So we'll go straight for Suggestica. Okay, hello. How big is that army? I just want to move you out of the way, honestly. They killed 150. At least it's all archers. That's fine. So Cleonimos will come round to Suggestica. 
um, and takes the Jessica, which is which is uh, rebelling against them right now, which is fantastic to see. So it looks like the north is kind of sorted. We know that the Bosporans up in the northeast are just just run away at the sight of these absolutely crazy bastards. So I'm assuming you're going to be another Roman army, or potentially, I, I actually, do you know what you'll be? You'll be an anti. Carthaginian army. So we've got you in there. Need to replace. Need to get Cleonaimon. I need to get Kellyas out of Cleonaimon. So can you not reach Rome? Yeah, you can. So why have you got less movement points? Just get in there. Yep. Yeah. Still happy. So good. And we'll move you up to there. Ready? To move Cleonaimon. Fantastic. So Cleonaimon. Sorry, not Cleonaimon. I keep calling him Cleonaimon. Kellyas. Kellyas will come back down to Ambrakia for the retraining again. And we'll send him back. In terms of the armies we have, we do have Uimon and uh, Protus ready to go. And then we're also going to have these two extra armies. Uh, Nicandros and uh, Prinatadas. Then we have another army potentially in here, Midilos's army, and we've got the army in Ambrakia. So I think we're pretty good for armies, aren't we? <laughs> right, first things first, let's do this. And I'm, I should, I really should fight this on the battle map because I know if I press that, it'll do an obscene amount of casualties to us. Even though they are just Carthaginian troops. And I didn't want to fight that, that big army while I'm sieging. So just the small army. Anyway, we'll see you on the battle map, guys. Is near at hand. If all do their duty, Here we are. Yeah, of course it will. We know. Oh, lovely. Straight into the town square there. Nice Carthaginian city. So, of course, let's get all our ladder boys together. There, now drop them all and come back here. They might. I'm thinking they might. Oh, come on. Just pick them up. <laughs> fools. You fools. Thinking of sending um, you, I'm on. Oh, Protus the Great, sorry. <laughs> Too many people to remember. Too many stories that have been heard. But there. One of you there, one of you there. I think you can be spare. Let's see what they do with their troops. Okay, they've got Cretan archers and they've got Iberian skirmishers. So what I'm going to do, send you up there, my friend. You up there, you up there. And we'll leave you as a threat for now. As long as you're not getting shot by the archers, it's absolutely fine. In terms of my uh, troops ready to go in... Get you guys ready over here. So, Protus will go and fight those Cretan archers. Oh, Protus. Yeah, it is Protus. God damn. <laughs> what are those guys? Iberian skirmishers. You should be able to beat all those quite handily. Quite handily. Very nicely experienced army, this, as I said before many times. Fantastic to see. Let's go. Let's get through. Are you guys firing yet? Fire away. Fire and wave, boys. Oh, why is he dying so much? Come on, Protus. You should be able to beat some goddamn Cretan archers, probably because of their jabbies. Uh, so tell you what. Send up you to there. Help him out. Don't want him to die. Anything, what a good idea would be right now, would be to get here. Even if it just means these things are shooting at him, or shooting at them, should I say. Now back. Come back, boys, come back. Right, Protus, we need you to stop these fools. I'm taking back the towers, which they're going to do now, aren't they? Oh, well. Fire at them. 
Now, let's... Let's run away. Come on, kill them! So slow! At least it's just one unit of archers. Got some decent experience this unit as well. Have you killed them all? Alright, let's go then. Speed up. Speed this baby up. Now run. Run, I told you to run. Why will you not run? <laughs> Listen to me. God damn it, you fools. Oh, well, we've killed them all now anyway. So, brilliant. Archers back here. And we're, we're pretty much going to kill their whole army without needing to uh, come down off the walls, hopefully. Uh, where are the rest of you? And what I want you to get there, and I want you to get there as well. Which way are they going to go, though, is the question. Up those ladders, that's absolutely fine. Don't know why you're firing uh, fire missiles, but it's... Not ideal. Get there, my boys. Once you're down, we can get you in phalanx. Speed. Speed is the aim of the game, boys. Today. Now, phalanx. Hopefully, the archers can fire again. I mean, they have Al... Oh, Alshat. That's why the army didn't die before, because of Alshat. Alshat. What a name. What a fiendish name. Oh. Kill them all. Fantastic. Right. Now, uh, Protus. Let's get you. Protus the Great. You're just facing the wrong way, boys. It's the wrong way. What are those? Libyan Light Infantry. Come on! There we are. That's better. Come on! How are we not killing these guys quicker? They're, they're trash. They're literal human garbage. Okay. I'm just going to take some damage here, Protus. Go. There we are. Phalanx time. Oh, that just shredded two of them straight away. Okay, let's go now. Yeah, okay. Thought he was going to say the gods have punished us. Oh. Oh, he died in that charge. Nice. Good. Okay, we lost 80. I'm pretty sure we would have lost a lot more if we'd also resolved that. It loves to give you destructive... Uh, Results when you auto resolve on sieges. Anyway, guys, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. And once again, we shall enslave. Does that mean uh, retinue expand? A Berber turncoat. Interesting. Cool. Fighting against whole of North Africans. That's really good for us. And they didn't have a recruitment thing here. They've also got an execution square, which will 100% keep because of that extra law. What a fantastic building to take. Ah, very good, very good. I'm feeling rather positive about our experiences currently. Now we'll go fight this one against the four Hastati. We'll use the archers once again, of course. So, guys, I will see you on the battle map. Here we are, guys. Once again. So, quickest way into the town square... Is that side, but we can't go that side. This way, then. So, we'll set up around here. Uh, once again, get you guys there. We'll use uh, Uimon. One of those ladders. Just in case. Then archers for the rest of them. Come on. Oh, please, just take them. Take them! God damn it. Oh, it's the wrong archer. God damn it. <laughs> that was just dumb of me. <laughs> right, so you can...
go and go there. You can go there. Get you guys here. And let's see where they set up. Okay. Let's go then. If they're not going to set up on the walls, I'm going to speed it up. Uh, then uh, infantry wise, you guys as well. Uh, so that's the best gate over there, but I, I think we just go over the walls. Well, the walls or wherever they, th they think is the fastest way, I guess. Our phalanx. Just get through there. Go around that way. And then the archers that are not up here. So you guys, let's get you all down here to fire at these damn Romans. You guys, I want you up on the walls. Then would like you boys there. So they are going to go. Th they are going to go through the gate. That's fine. Should have left them that side then, shouldn't I? Uh, well, waiting for orders. So he's still got this guy down here. Okay, one unit. Fight those boys. Getting shot to pieces. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, stop for a second. You guys halt. Yeah, we should beat them here. We're phalanxing them to death. Uh, phalanx. This way. Come around this way. Firing down into them. Fantastic. Now, where are you, you I'm on? Let's bring you down here. Yes, we fully surrounded him and killed him. That's good to see. Kill them all. You. Get you there. Oh, ideally, if we could get you through this way and here. Go that way, yeah. Just go whichever way is fastest for you. And you also go there. We're going to kill them all quite quickly here. You guys go there. Yeah. Oh, just stabbed him. Oh, they're all, uh, they're all running now. There we are, fantastic. Uh, we lost 134, but it wasn't too many. Everyone doing some good damage. Well done. Experience for the archers and that's it. Oh, well. Good. Good result. Anyway, I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. Fantastic. And once again, of course, we're going to enslave. And Pystum is now ours. So basically, we own all of uh, southern Italy. More than southern Italy. More than halfway up, so we just we've kept them to this area now, which is great. Um, and I think you, I'm on. You can definitely push forward if you have. Let's see whether this makes a difference in Venusia. Oh, 64% now. That's pretty good. You can get to Pystum, so let's get forward. Let's get you guys in there and low tax rate. And where shall we go? Let's go towards Aretium. We're going to have two new armies pretty soon. Yeah. You might as well get on there for... Straight away. Now you... Yeah, we're getting Kellyas on there, aren't we? Uh, Midilos. Eumelus. Yeah, Eumelus is back here retraining. Merge those boys. Uh, actually, get rid of them. 
Sorry, Thessalians. So we need another couple of cavalry. So you might as well go up to Bilazora for retraining. Let's make sure we retrain you. And you guys can go to Pella for retraining as well. Fantastic. Build one of you while we're at it. Slave trader. Oh, God. Anyway, uh, I think that's a pretty action-packed turn, isn't it? I'm yeah, we've only done one turn, so let's uh, end the turn here. Have we even done a turn? Oh, yeah, we have. We've done one turn. Action-packed turn, eh? Very action-packed. The Romans will die soon, hopefully. Okay, they've come back to attack Asanka. I'm absolutely fine with them sieging it down and leaving it and then sieging it down again. So, if we look on the on the campaign map, it looks like we should have a hill. Please let us have a hill for once. We've not had a hill for so long in our battles. We've been fighting uphill for years. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, they're probably going to try the push tactic where they... Yeah, we should, we should have a hill here, guys. So, uh, let's defend that hill, and I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. Bit of a hill. Not a huge hill. Actually, do you know what? It's, it's quite a decent hill, isn't it? So, I'm going to keep two in reserve, of course. We have uh, Clear Naimos, who has Cavalry Bodyguard. So, that's going to be hugely beneficial, especially against these darn Germans. You guys there. You guys here. And archers on the hill. Oh, wait. No, that wasn't all of you. On the hill. So, let's uh, get ready and let's... Uh... Okay. So. Looks like they want to tango. Get there. You guys behind to cover the flank. Same with you, boyos. And all the cavalry. I think we'll send you boys around this flank. Let's go here. What is that? Swabian Freeman cavalry. Get shooting them, please. Goddamn Javi Cavs. I hate them. Can't tell you how much I hate missile cavalry. If you've watched my Car Carthaginian campaign, guys, you'll know my pure and pure and undiluted hatred for missile cavalry. Oh, good job. To, good, nice to see them dying right now. God damn, I hate them. I think the most annoying thing about them is is not the missiles that they throw. It's the fact that they break so easily, but come back from breaking even more easily. So, go boys. Don't think they're going to stop. Yeah. Right, come back. Just chase them away. Okay, that's their general. Some freemen. Captain uh, Adelwolf. What a great name. What a fantastic name. Adelwolf. So... Do you want to fight some Freeman, my Neodomidos? I think you do. Let's go, boys. Go through them. We'll phalanx them. We'll kill this general nice and easy. Oh, is he going to run? Don't run away. I'm going to run from me. Okay, archers. May have messed that up again. Don't run from me, you fools. Okay, well, if you're not going to charge us, then uh, you will get charged yourself. It's got to stop them there, hasn't it? Now out, now out, boys. Out, damn spot. Okay, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Let's go. Guys, march forward. Get into the phalanx. Now we charge the general in the back. 
Oh, he's pretty much dead already. That's pretty good for us to see. Wait, are you withdrawing? God damn it, Germans! Get into them. These goddamn Freemen, bro. Can't tell you how annoying they are running away from our troops all the time like this. Right, now out. Get out, quickly. Out. Kill that. There we are, he's dead. Keep going, boys. You guys too. So basically with the Germans, it looks like you just have to surround them. More Freeman cavalry over there. Otherwise they do this. They do this. Which can't be more annoying, can it? Just running away constantly. God damn fools. God damn it! Stop running! <laughs> Fucking idiots, man. Fight me! Well, they're not gonna fight. I will use my superior cavalry to kill them all. Go there, quick, quick, quick. Oh, god damn! Broken. Break them, come on. Broken. Come on, break them. Break them now, out. Out, boys. You cavalry. Just go into maybe here. How are you taking so much damage, bro? Oh, God damn, I hate these Germans. God damn it. Just fight. You couldn't be more annoying if you tried, could you? I mean, actually, no. That's that's a lie, because the Spanish are definitely more annoying than them. Uh, there's the uh, Aravachi. Now, that is... Now, they are what I call annoying. I can tell you now. Okay, now they're fighting to the death, which is not exactly what we wanted. Right, cavalry. Let's get out. Let's go kill this uh, Freeman 100. Turn around. How have you taken so much damage as well? Oh, God. My cavalry just absolutely rinses them. Yeah, break them. Now them. God, I can't tell you how annoying these guys are. Like, I like they're just little thorns. Just go away, bro. Just fight. Stand and fight. They miss our men. Oh, they're broken already. Ah. Uh. Yep. Cool. Those three. Let's go. Kill them. Withdrawing now. Now we just need to chase them down. So, you guys there. You guys there. You guys there. I mean, you guys should go for the forward ones, really. Uh, you can actually go for these guys. Let's make sure we kill them all. Right, kill them. Kill them. Come on. Kill them all. Let's go. There we are. Better. Kill them too. Nice. Good. Ah, there we are. Fantastic. We lost 400 still, which a bit annoying, but that's... Not much we can do about it. Got some experience for, for a couple of Phalangite units. Good. Good. Ah, just, just, just annoying. 
That's, that's all they are. Anyway, I'll see you back at the end turn, guys. Here we are. Send them back. Ah, suggestica has gone rebel. <laughs> it's what you get, Suebi. It's what you get. I can tell you that now. Don't take Suggestica off us. It's our land. I wonder what the rebels will be. Okay, Parthia's destroyed. That's interesting. I can't... I will reckon that would be the Seleucids then that destroyed them. Oh, they're like Illyrians. Nah, that's alright. Civil Disorder. Okay, Capua. Pretty upset. Not gonna lie. Is that because we built... Yeah, we did. Um, so, and also Tarentum. Pretty upset. Tyras. Tyras is fine now. I don't know why... What was their problem last last turn? Suitable husband, he's 39, no thank you. Ah, Piro Bridava has upgraded into a large city, pretty nice. Also, Nereus. Nereus, my boy. Excellent. Scant trust, understanding of strategy. And he's an oligarch and he's sober. He's got a mentor as well. Decent character, really decent character in fact. Um, Ascalum. Can we build that? I mean, it's, it's a bit risky doing it right now, isn't it? Right. Send you guys back to here. You guys get on there. Oh, no. Don't. <laughs> so, do we send you to Sicily? Nicandros, I think we do. You have been repurposed to go to Sicily. You guys get in there because we know it's not going to be very helpful. Might as well get in there ready to go. You guys are going to come back to Ambrakia. Is the Ambrakian army retrained yet? No, nope, not quite. So what do we need? We've got three cavalry. Oh, we need more cavalry, don't we? And we were sending them to by, Z by the Zora. Retraining. Retrain them. Thermon, keep... Ah, oh, yes. Spartan Cavalry Bodyguard. Let's, uh, let's get a couple of those boys. We need them. We really do need them. Uh, rather than our Infantry Bodyguard, which is just nowhere near as potent or powerful. So, Cryptia, we're going to have to use you wisely here. So, where was the unhappiness? Tarentum was pretty unhappy. So was Capua. So... See how many we need for Capua. I'm gonna send three there. That sorted it. And then Tarentum. Send the rest. Cool. Wait, was it Ascalum as well? No. Okay, that's all right then. Capua. In terms of the conversion, we're not quite there. So we have to build that straight away. How about Tarentum? Again, not quite there. God damn it. Seleucids and Parthia are allies, but Parthia is dead. <laughs> so, ceasefire between the Ptolemies and Seleucids. That's not great for us. Nice. Good. Some good things here. Got the construction. Just build that. It doesn't matter. Uh, Chalkis. The academy. Thermon, we got that. So let us build the royal barracks as well. I don't know whether it adds anything, but it's worth trying out. Um, Bylazora. Bylazora. We need population growth here. So anything that can bring us population growth would be ideal. It doesn't look like we have anything available. So just build the shrine to Hera. Oiskos. Oh, Oiskos can do the upgrades as well, but it's a bit further up, so... Just go for the that instead. Nisus got the Great Agora. Go for the Irrigation. Uh, Ayada got the Academy. Ayada's another one that doesn't matter too much. Arestia got the Dockyard. Let's go for the uh, Public Baths. Thomas, let's go straight for that. Darkidava. Let's build the Odeon. Tylus, we went for that. Oh, Tylus can upgrade. Good. Piero Bridava's upgrading. Tyras. Uh, Tyras. Let's go for that straight away. Croton. 
Go for the Odeon. Ascalum. Let's go for Large Temple of Hera. Capua. We're going straight for that upgrade. Venusia. Going straight for that as well. Yeah, they're just all rebuilds. Cool. So, you. Up to Aretium, which is going to be our recruitment hub of this area. So, I'm thinking, honestly, of just occupying it. So, we can go straight up to Huge City. Um, so, you go straight for that. That's good. You, my friend, are coming down. You're waiting. See whether the Carthaginians attack us, which they've not done so far. Cool. Cool. All good. All good. All good. You guys retraining. How about the Pella army? Ready to go. Midilos or Tibaeus? Tibaeus is 23. How old is Midilos? 39 and he's not even good. So... I think it's, uh, let's see, yeah, the Ballista does really reduce the range. I don't think I'm going to take the Ballista. So with this army, what do we want to do? Do, I mean, we don't particularly need it up here. We've got two against Carthage in Sicily. We've got one army there. We're going to have... Another one up here as well. So that's that's enough, I think, honestly. That's, that is enough for us. So I'm thinking with this Peller army. Do we uh, go and fight? Let's go there. Two of you. So do we go and fight the Suebi up here? I mean, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. I, I mean, I think the best option would honestly be Pergamon. If we're going to make inroads into Anatolia, let's go for Pergamon first. They're the smallest and weakest. If we want to make inroads into the Ptolemies as well, that would be ideal. Um, but they have just signed that ceasefire, which is slightly scary. And slightly annoying, honestly. So how are we doing with Sparta? Still going. Athens, still going. Thermon, yeah, upgrading. Ambrachia, fantastic. Pella, now we need Bylazora to become a huge city ASAP, really. So we can get those gold upgrades. Cool, I, I mean, I think everything's going pretty well, honestly. I think we're doing decently. So, as I think we're going to end the turn there, there's actually no battles for us to do on this turn. Um, so it'll be another end turn when we come into the... Uh, Okay, no, we've got Clear Nymos as well, don't we? I'm going to remember him. Oh, yeah. Probably fight the Sarakis, honestly. I don't think they'd be strong enough, even with... The... It does look like they don't have many troops. Even with the Horse Archers, I don't think they'd be strong enough to beat us. I know those Horse Archers are pretty brutally good. But I don't think they'll be strong enough to beat us. Anyway, guys, well, thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe, all that good stuff. It does really help the channel out. Um, and hopefully, I'll see you again on the next video.